So starting in child's pose today, just find a place where you can be for a little bit, just sinking into the body, feeling what there is to feel today. Notice the areas that are tight or tender or sore or just interesting. And start to also then notice your breath. And adding some deeper breaths. Taking them in and out the nose or in through nose, out through mouth. Let's take five more breaths here. Just sink down, let yourself be heavy and come closer to your center. Just be close with your breath, yourself. One more nice, full, deep breath all the way down into the low belly and back. Follow the next breath, start to walk the hands back and we'll come on up to tabletop. Moving through our spine, inhaling, open the front body for cat cow. Exhaling around. And inhaling, just moving through a couple rounds. Taking it side to side if you like, or continuing with that forward and back movement. <coughs> here, just coming to neutral spine and let's bring the knees forward, come on into a seat. Keep the legs forward, stretch and then just come to a comfortable seat, cross-legged or on the knees. Just sit tall for a moment. Let's bring the palms together, deep breath. And exhale slow, any intention you'd like to bring deeper into your practice today, setting that behind your thumbs, <clears throat> bringing it to your heart. From here, let the hands come down. We'll take the shoulders up on an inhale and just roll them back and down. On the exhale, inhale, and exhale. And if you like both, you can continue to do both at the same time, or you can shift it to one at a time and just explore that. <clears throat> and we'll take the shoulders up again and then bring them forward a couple rounds. And again, same thing if you want to do both or just the one at a time. You just kind of feel the difference. Back to just sitting. From here, we'll move the head. So inhaling, drawing the chin up, and just feeling where the uh, movement originates in the neck. Exhaling to tuck the chin. <clears throat> inhaling again, just like cat cow, but in the neck. Follow your breath. One more. Come to neutral. Inhale. <clears throat> With your exhale, we'll take the right ear to the right shoulder. Just let the right shoulder drop. And now we're doing doga. Oh. 
Left fingertips can draw out. Just let that left side neck stretch. Inhale, bring the neck back through center. <coughs> Exhale, left ear. Left shoulder, let the left shoulder drop and bring right fingertips out. Inhaling, coming back again, neutral. Exhale, tuck the chin. Inhale, draw it over to one side. Exhale, back through center. Inhale to the other side. And again. Bring it back through center, draw the chin up. And let's Cross the legs the other way just for the moment. So take the arms up now. Optional look up. Exhale, hands to sides. Again, inhale. Follow your breath. Fill up the whole belly, whole lungs. <clears throat> One more time to take it up. We'll take the hands forward. Inhale, lift heart, exhale, walk it out. Release the head if you can. <coughs> Follow your in-breath, walk the hands back. Bring the hands behind. Coming into a back bend, roll shoulders open, either fingertips or palms on the ground, lift the heart up. Let the sides of the waist pull in and up to help lift the heart, chest. Follow the in-breath to tuck the chin. Back <clears throat> to neutral. Let's take the arms up one more time. Right hand down, left arm's going to lean up and over. You can reach it just straight up or you can lean pretty far as far as you like. You can come down to forearm or just stay up on that right hand. Left hip stays grounded. You can look up or just forward. Follow the in-breath. Take both arms back up. Left hand down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it over. Nice deep breath. <clears throat> Inhale, reach all the way up again, both hands. Bring the hands back. And from here, let's interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders open, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. And either letting the hands stay down or you can start to take them up and over the head. And now I'm coming back up. And from here, let's move to down dog. And that upside down V shape. Starting to sink the heels back and down. <coughs> good, good breaths here. Press your thumb and first finger, middle fingers parallel at the edges of the mat. Step your left foot just toward the midline a little bit, extend the right leg. Uh, point the right toes toward where the ceiling and the wall meet. Press into your palms and imagine from crown to toe, one long line. Lift that leg a little higher without hiking the hip. Set that right foot down, bringing it toward the midline. Inhale, lift that left leg when you're ready. Point the left toes. Point, point, point. So breathe, press into the palms, lift the leg. <clears throat> and let's bring it back down. Feet are separated about six inches. Let's walk the dog, bring the hands back. Lower the feet. 
coming into ragdoll or another variation on forward fold. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Just five good breaths here. If you're in ragdoll, feel free to rock. Soft bend of the knees. When you're ready, we're going to round up, bottom to top. So the head will come up last. Standing tall, bringing the feet in together. <clears throat> Big breath. From here, I take the arms up, inhale, and just bring the palms down through center, following the thumb with your eyes. Inhale again, two more rounds, just reaching out and up. Exhale through center. Inhale. Exhale. Separate the feet again. And from here, we're gonna round back down. Let the head go, arms go, soft knees. Round back down. And when you're ready, when you get there, take your time. Walk out your dog, come back to down dog. And option here to come through to plank, into your push up, and into your heart opener, cobra or up dog. Pressing it back, down dog or child's pose. Take three good breaths. If you're in your down dog and you want to pedal the feet <coughs> or do, excuse me, any variations there. Take that left foot again toward the midline, right leg lifts again, point the toes, just square the hips, point toes, reach, 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 activate that right leg, press into the palms, that one long line, reach and lift that right leg, but keep your right hip level with your left, lift the leg a little more, point, <clears throat> Exhale, set it down. Other side when you're ready. Point the left toes. Press into the palms. Pull the shoulders back away from the ears. Hips level. And lift the toes again, lift the leg. But keep an internal rotation with that left leg. <coughs> Set that left foot down. From here, we're gonna reach that right leg up again. Inhale, exhale, bring it through knee to nose if possible, or you can just bring it outside the right elbow and then step your right foot forward. Back knee up or down, coming into lunge. Amplify heart or overhead. Take five good breaths here. those hands back down coming either into plank and in your push-up or back down dog <clears throat> excuse me step that right foot into the midline left leg up point the toes inhale pull the belly in knee to nose go slow and step your left foot forward the arms up or your version of lunge. Breathe here, five good breaths. <clears throat> Notice if you have any um, areas where you're tight and you don't need to be, generally like shoulders and jaw and eyes. One more breath. And exhale, palms come down. Again, optional push up from plank, push up, up dog. <clears throat> you can always skip those, go back to down dog. 
Let's set the knees down, come to child's pose. Take a moment. Find your in-breath again when you're ready. Back through down dog. Left over the midline, right leg extends up, inhale, point toe, and bring it through again, knee to nose, step forward, hands inside the right foot, quarter turn to the left, so wide legged, fold, fold, inhale, lift up, exhale, fold further, or just stay halfway. Take three more breaths here. Big toes turn in toward each other. Maybe your crown of your head is literally facing the ground, maybe not. You can walk the hands in and under the body. Walk those hands a little bit forward. So we'll come up halfway. Bring the feet in just a little bit closer. And we'll turn the right toes to, I think, what is the front of your mat right now. Bring the hands to shin and open left arm up for extended triangle. With those five breaths, adjust as you need to with your feet, making any variations that you like. Another good breath. Exhale, left hand comes down, both hands inside that right foot. And again, quarter turn, back to wide legged with the feet a little closer and then shifting to the other side for triangle. Left toes point back, hands to shin, right arm opens up when you're ready. Nice deep breath. So your torso and head are parallel to the ground. And all points, <clears throat> hands, <clears throat> sorry, feet, head reaching out from the center, but engaging the center to support it. Reach up one more. Bring that hand back down. Again, walk the hands back to wide legged. <clears throat> take a, <laughs> take a, uh, clear your throat. Take a breath. Let's walk the hands forward. So you're in wide legged, and we're coming into kind of a down dog with wide legs. So the, the hands go way out. Then we press again into thumbs and first finger and press the ground away from us to stretch the hips up and back. Walk the hands in again. And again, shorten the space between the feet. Quarter turn to the right. So we're going to do one more posture like this. Right toes point forward. Step your left foot to the left side for pyramid pose. So a bit like warrior one, but with that uh, front leg straight. Hands to shin. If you like, you can come all the way up and bring the hands behind the back and do that version. Otherwise, staying low, maybe hands stay on the shin or the hips to lift the heart. Pull the right hip back as you lead the heart forward over your second toe. Deep breaths here. <clears throat> Holding a little further if you're ready, or just stay halfway. From here, let's um, revolve it. So coming into the other triangle, left hand stays to the shin, or it can go to the ground or block on either side of the foot. Right hand to the hip, and your hips are level, <clears throat> starting to turn to the right. 
Keeping that front leg straight, maybe extending the right arm up. Reaching the heart again, torso, head parallel to the ground, nice and long. Back foot is your anchor. Back heel grounded, one more breath. Bring that right hand down again to the shin inside the foot and we'll walk it around other side. So walking back through a version of wide legged and shifting the feet. So left foot on the left side, right foot on the right side. Arrange your hands if you want them behind the heart or at the hips. Inhale, lift up so you're lining. Again, that heart up with a second toe as you come forward. Feet are grounded, press down and away from each other with the feet. But squeeze the inner thighs together. Shoulders pull back. Nice soft gaze. One more breath. And again, keeping that right hand to shin or either side of the foot or block. Left hand to hip. Right foot stays grounded. Start to turn to the left. Left arm can go up or stay at the hip. Deep breaths. Now exhale when it comes, bring that hand back down, hands inside the foot again, quarter turn, quarter turn, coming all the way back up, top of the mat, back to down dog. And setting the knees down if you like, following me and just rocking the hips. You can bring the knees together and just let the hips kind of fall one side and then to the other. One more breath. Come on back to either child's pose or down dog. When you're ready, come on back to down dog if you're not there. And let's step up top of the mat. Reach the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. <clears throat> Hands at the heart. So I'm going to step to the back of my mat just so you can see, but you can stay at the top of your mat. Bring the hands to the hips, separate the feet. <coughs> Losing my voice, sorry. <coughs> Spread through left toes, weight to the left foot, coming into the tree pose. Yeah, bring that left heel in, focus your gaze forward. That right heel might go inside the um, high inner thigh, or the toes might stay grounded. Take the arms up overhead if you like. So they can stay at the heart. Find that breath. Palms to heart. Back to the hips. Step the right foot down. Roll out the left ankle. Ground that right foot. Come to the other side when you're ready. Focus your gaze. Continue with your breath. Palms to heart or overhead, five good breaths. Slowly, when you're ready, bring the hands back down to the hips, left foot down, feet together, just stand, pause. Let's do um, a different variation on tree. So we'll separate the feet. You can repeat what we did. Um, this version is gonna be a little bit more of a hip opener, maybe, depends on the person 
Um, the version that we do that we just did can also be a nice hip opener if you open the knee out to the side a little more sometimes. So you'll ground again that left foot and bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh. So we do this a lot on our back, figure four. Bring the hands to the hips. It's a little more challenging because that left knee is going to bend and you're going to sink the hips down. Breathe here. This might be enough. If you are ready, you can forward fold here. If you are not ready, just stay right where you are. Yep, hands can come to the ground or they can come to the shin. Nice. Slowly come back up when you're ready. Beautiful, step that right foot down. A little different. Do what you need to do. Ground that right foot. When you're ready, left ankle on right thigh. <clears throat> Just like our figure four, it's essentially the same thing. Hands to heart. Maybe just be here for a moment. Yeah, if you're ready, go for it. Bend into the knee, sink the hips down. Yeah, and if you want to, you'll start to fold forward. If you do get those hands to the ground, if you have a block <coughs> nearby, you can use that block. And once you get there, you can straighten the right leg and forward fold, release the head. So just finding your place, either with that knee bent or with the leg straight, bring the hands back to hip, sorry, heart, <laughs> and come back up. Yeah, so nice. Thanks for playing. Come to stand, just pause, breathe. <clears throat> Let's separate the feet again, hip width distance. Just coming to forward fold, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lead it forward and down. So either grabbing your big toes with your two first two fingers and thumb or standing on the hands or any other variation on forward fold that you like. Again, just five good breaths. And from here, bend the knees and bring the forearms to the thighs, hands come together. Separate the feet even more for squat. And either the toes stay pointed forward or you can turn them out and you can stay with this catcher squat or you can bring the hips all the way down and through. Yeah, elbows press into inner knees, lifting the heart, breathing here. <coughs> If your heels are up high, that's okay. You can always put a blanket or something underneath your heels, or if you are okay with hanging in a squat with your heels up, it's, that's fine. As long as it feels okay with your knees and your ankles. Two more good breaths. From here, an optional crow, if you wanna play with that. Palms come down, knees come high up on the triceps, almost up to the armpits. I'm just taking a moment here. It's gonna be a quick one. We're not gonna break it down. Just play where you can stick with your squat or come to forward fold. And deep breath. Carefully setting the feet back down, come back to forward fold. A few good breaths here. And when you're ready, come all the way up either with a flat back or rolling up to you. And we'll do just a few more standing poses. Take a moment. Separate the feet again, six inches apart, left foot steps back, warrior one. Bending into your front knee, hips are squared forward. Taking the arms up. Hands can go up or they can be at the heart.
one more good breath. <clears throat> Bring the palms to heart. Let's open out to warrior two. So now you're stepping onto one line down the middle of your mat. Bending into your front knee, fingertips reach. Forward and back. Nice deep breaths. See if you can soften the shoulders down a little bit away from the ears. And send your right knee a little bit to the right. Straighten the front leg. Let's bring the hands to the hips and just pivot turn to the left and then to the left again. So we'll just turn around and step that right foot to the right for warrior one. Taking the arms up again. So you're facing the back of the mat, right foot on the right side, left foot on the left side of your mat. <clears throat> One more good breath. Palms to heart, bring them down to the hips and shift into warrior two. So a little wider stance, feet are in line now. Bend into your left knee, open to the side, fingertips reach. <clears throat> Deep breath, stay here. Straighten the left leg, hands to hips, pivot, turn around, step back up to the top of the mat. Find that standing posture, some city, just pause. Follow an in-breath, take the arms up overhead. Again, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Bring the hands down, plank option. You wanna do your chaturanga push-up or just step back again to down dog or your child's pose. Find a resting place for three breaths. And let's come to let's come to Sphinx pose. We'll come to the belly and the forearms. And just pause here. So we'll we'll be here for the moment with the head lifted. Get the elbows right under the shoulders. Wrists are right out in front of the elbows and just soften the gaze either forward or a little bit down in front of you. Past the tip of the nose. Feet can be as wide as you like. <clears throat> See if you can kind of drive the front of your hips into the ground a little bit. And then extend the tail toward the space between the heels. So just these are kind of opposite directives. I'm just feeling the difference there when you do one versus the other. Really subtle stuff you can't really see. <clears throat> From here, let's bring the forehead down. If you want to um, bring your hands together and place your forehead to your hands or just forehead, <clears throat> excuse me, forehead to the ground. And just take a pause here. If you want to add some movement, just rocking the feet, maybe still on the ground. Another option to bend the knees and rock the feet in the air. Bring those feet back down. From here, let's come back to Sphinx and we're going to extend the right arm, slide the left arm through and under it, or thread the needle for a twist and stack the palms. So come on to the tricep, 
pillar area deltoid side of your left arm. Stack elbow, wrist, wrist, elbow. And start to turn, look up a little bit if it's all right with your body and your neck. Start to press your right hip toward the ground if you want to increase the stretch and the twist. Continue to breathe. <clears throat> Bring that top hand back down, press down to lift up. And extend the left arm when you're ready. Slide right arm under and through. Stacking palms. Five good breaths. And again, maybe driving that left hip toward the ground a bit. Carefully again, bringing that top hand to the ground and coming back to Sphinx. So from here, we're going to try a pec stretch. You can do this at the wall, but um, we're at the floor, so we can kind of pretend like the floor is the wall. So you'll extend the right arm out with the left ear on the ground and the left hand pressing into the ground to help support. Nope, just kidding. The right arm and the right ear to the ground, sorry. So right arm, right ear to ground, left hand presses down if you need to watch. Um, some of you have done this before. We're gonna turn to the left. So bringing that left leg back and behind us. That left knee can be bent or it can be straight. You can even reach back for that foot if it feels good. Just looking for a pack stretch. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Be mindful for a little bit. Bring it back when you're ready. Slowly, yeah, use that left hand. Other side when you're ready. So left arm out and left ear to the ground, right hand to support and turn the right side back behind you. Take a few breaths. Slowly come back. We're going to do um, a variation here. So I personally, I don't feel much when I do that, just arm straight out. So if you want to try um, 90 degree arm or you can take the arm up a little higher. So rather than just straight out, it can go up a bit or you can try the 90 degree. So either one, pick one, try it. <laughs> so you can kind of feel while you're laying on the ground, what's gonna be a good stretch and then start to turn again. Yeah, the left leg. Come on back when you're, you're ready to shift. Come to the other side if you haven't yet. Take your time when you're ready, come on out. Nice. Let's let the head go just for the moment. Just release the head either to the ground again or to the hands. If you want to rock the, the forehead on the ground a little bit or the feet. And from here, bring the hands right beside the rib cage. Press yourself up and back. Just stretching the back into kind of a child pose just for the moment. And then we'll come back to hands and knees and back to forearms. So we're going to make a triangle with the arms. So getting those elbows right underneath your shoulders and you're going to press 
elbows down, squeeze biceps together, get really active in your shoulder girdle and rounding a little bit the back of the heart up toward the ceiling as you're engaging all of that. Engage the core as well. Take a few good breaths. Prepare, when you're ready, we're gonna lift the knees. So coming into down dog with the legs. So dolphin pose. Cross the elbows down, squeeze biceps together, round a little bit into the back of the heart. And either you can let the head go or you can look forward toward the space between the elbows. For 10, nine, eight, breathe, breathe, breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, one, set the knees down, either child's pose or sphinx, pause. When you're ready, come back up. We're gonna do a similar thing with the arms, a little different with the legs. So dolphin planks, so set those arms up. You can repeat dolphin instead if you need to, if you prefer. Press into the arms, squeeze arms together. When you're ready, step back, plank, breathe. Press down into the ground to lift up the back of the heart. Press the heels down the mat. Option here to lift the right toes up off the ground just a tiny bit, three. Six, five, four, switch sides if you did pick the toes up. Left toes come up just a little bit and kick through the heel. Three, two, one. Child's pose your sphinx. Rest. Again, bring the hands to underneath you. Come on up to all fours when you're ready. And we'll come on up. Just wanna make sure that we were nice and warm for the next one for camel. So standing up on the knees, if you need to pad up um, under the knees, go for it. Knees are about six inches apart, just like we do standing. Hands come to the low back. Internal rotation with those thighs and the tail points just straight down. And from there, imagine the wall is right here. And you can do it at a wall if you want, feel free to do that. It does um, interesting things to help you as you press forward, put that press back. You can imagine that to help lift up. So pressing the hands in, pressing the knees down, pressing shins down, lift the heart. All this pressing to lengthen up. Lifting the heart, maybe the head just goes back, back, back. So imagine you were up against a wall and the wall would press back into the fronts of your legs. So you'd feel that lift. Deep breath. Press down into the shins. Inhale to come back and just pause either standing and pausing or sitting on the heels if that's comfortable. When you're ready, inhale, lift up one more round. And just notice what your feet are doing. If they're right in line with the knees, try to make that happen. Lift the heart when you're ready. All those things, internally rotating thighs, tail points down, heart lifts up. Breathe. And reach back for the heels if that's available. Follow your in-breath to come back. And again, just come to a seat or stand up on the knees to pause. From here, bring the feet together. So rabbit pose, we should do it since we did our camel went up and back, now we need to round forward. So from here, sitting on the knees, legs together, feet together, reaching back for the 
heel so your thumb is on the outside and your fingers are on the inside. If you can reach like that right now, great. I can't really do that. I get it on the way down. Inhale, lift up, tall spine, and you're going to round, tuck the chin. You can watch again at first if you need to. Forehead comes close to the knees, grabbing the heels, lifting the hips. Little bit of weight on the head, not a lot. Most of the weight in the legs. Hips lift up, 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 round in to the very top of the head on the ground. Lift the hips, lift the hips, lift the hips. Two more breaths. Round in. Try to bring the heels together. Pull on those heels. Follow the in breath to unround. Come back up the way you went in. Pause. Let's come to the back, just a neutral spine for the moment. So either knees bent or legs straight. And just pause. Add some movements if you're ready. You can rock a little bit or bring the knees in. Taking both knees in, perhaps squeezing in. And let's come up one more time. So if you want to go through a whole push up, feel free. If you still need to get a little bit more warm, <laughs> or just come to your seat, we'll end up there. Check on the, okay, we are good. So cross-legged or again, sitting up on the knees. And yeah, if you wanna add um, stacking, feel free to do that. The focus though is gonna be on the arms uh, going into eagle. So taking the arms up and overhead. So right elbow can go under first. You need either wrapping hands or hands to shoulders, your choice. And again, if you do have um, legs crossed or stacked, or you can take knees stacked up to you and set that up if you need to shift, yeah, take your arms out and then rewrap them. So a couple um, ways to explore here. We can hug the elbows into the chest and maybe let the head draw in. You can also lift <clears throat> the head a little bit and lift the elbows up. And pressing, maybe bringing the elbows back down to neutral, pressing the bottom elbow up into the top, pressing the top down. So pressing into each other. Just notice how you feel all of these things. And another version to fold forward. We're just playing around with the different variations and then find the one that you want to stay in for a little while. Send that breath in. Three more breaths. From here, lifting up if you did fold, so bringing the um, elbows just neutral in front of you, and the top arm can just go out to the side, bring the right hand to the right shoulder, and just give it a little pull across the body. So you can either pull with the hand or you can kind of pull with the, the arm. Yeah, and if it feels good to turn the head one way or the other. Okay. And slowly coming back when you're ready. And we'll switch the cross of the legs. The setup there, if you want to repeat what you did, stacking or 
um, shins or knees or just cross-legged. Taking the arms overhead again, left elbow under. We are ready. And so you, now you know all those options, variations, elbows can squeeze into the chest. That's really nice for our lymphatic system, that pressure. Taking the elbows up, maybe straightening the arms a little bit, feeling where you are lit up in the shoulders from that. Careful. And just bringing them back, neutral, pressing up with the bottom arm and down with the top arm. I'm just noticing what that does. And then finding the variation you like. So maybe folding and staying there. Just being with that breath. <clears throat> Another good breath. And on the next in breath, taking the arms out or up or twisting, shifting as you need to with the shoulders in the back. And we'll come to the back again. And we're gonna stay there from here. So, Maybe again, just pausing here, maybe bending the knees if your low back's a little tight. Take a big breath. From here, bending the knees in, side by side, holding the shins, just squeezing the knees into the body. From here, drawing the soles of the feet up to the ceiling, happy baby, holding on to shins or big toes or outer edges of the feet. I'm just giving that a couple breaths. Option to rock. And either staying here or sending the legs just straight up and bringing the hands underneath the hips a little bit. You don't have to do that, that's an option. You can also um, set the feet down and bring a block up under the hips if you like. Just taking essentially legs up for a little bit if you'd like to do a shoulder stand or a plow. And that's part of your practice, go for it. Otherwise, just a little um, inversion of your choice. Take three more breaths wherever you are. When you are ready, bring those feet back down. And just make your way to Shavasana. So on the back or belly or side, just find where you want to be. Covering the eyes, maybe something under the knees. Just get yourself comfortable however you need to be. And take a nice deep breath in the nose, out the mouth. Again. One more. Just let yourself be present, just be here, relax. And 
Let your bones be heavy in the body. Let the body be heavy in the ground. Let your breath just be natural. Be present with your breath again, just notice it. You can start to take the in breath in a little deeper. Find those little movements, stretches, shifts that feel good. Maybe turning to the side, pausing there. And coming on up when you're ready to find your seat. Just keeping the eyes closed for the moment. Bring your palms in again. Remember your intention and we'll take our breath together to close. Deep inhale and exhale. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me.